wasn't sure this day would ever come. But you were. I wasn't sure that love could survive everything that we put it through. But you were. You were always strong and always sure. And now I know that I want you to stand beside me for the rest of my life. That's what I'm sure of. I have to talk to her now, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Then by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I present to you for the first time ever Mr. and Mrs. Harold Peterman. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Hey, hello. Maybe we could go somewhere later. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, help. Excuse me. May we cut in? Yes. <laughs> and when he makes you nuts, you call me. Hmm? Thanks, Dad. I'd like to propose a toast. This is for Harold and Myra. <laughs> What's up with that, Eric? Nothing. Just talk faster, right? Well, there is something I'd like to say. I may not be the best man, but I, I am the best friend. Corey and I have been best friends all our lives. And um, this wedding's been kind of hard for me because I know no matter how much we may avoid talking about it, Corey and I aren't going to be best friends forever. Things are changing between us. Things have always been changing. We've had to deal with life and death, and Feeney. <laughs> but no matter what we faced, we always faced it together. So then, how can we possibly be upset with each other on his wedding day? Well, it's because deep down, I think Corey and I both know that we're not gonna be best friends anymore. And that's the way it should be. So this is to Topanga, Corey's wife, and new best friend. Take care of him, okay? I will. And when he makes you nuts, call me. <laughs> I will. Corey and Topanga. Corey. Corey and Topanga. And now, I would like to give my gift to my little brother and new sister-in-law. Eric, this wedding was more than enough. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one more thing up my sleeve. I hold in my hand a key. A key to the honeymoon suite of the Philadelphia Victoria Hotel. So that after this part. Bye! <laughs> all right, all right, Eric. You spill it right now. Yeah, how could you possibly arrange all this? Oh, it was child's play. I'm picking up the tuxes, right? Right. And I see next door that they're setting up for this hoity toity Peterman wedding. Wait a minute, the disposable diaper Petermans? Yeah, them Petermans. Their wedding is the social event of the year. Yeah, well. Now it's not. <laughs> what did you do? Well, nothing. I just went out to the payphone and I called the operator and she said, what hotel? And I told her and while she was getting the number, I looked down at the end of the receiver and there's some kind of schmutz on it. I'm not sure if it was, it was dried vomit or gum. It tasted more like gum. Get on with it. <laughs> I told them that I was E.J. Peterman and I had to get uh, my daughter married sooner because she was pregnant. 